Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Carlucci from Montclair, New Jersey, and today we will be demonstrating part one of lower back stretches. So for all of these stretches, we are going to be on all fours. If you have a problem getting on or off the floor, please don't do them. If you need new exercises, just ask me. So we're gonna put your hands directly in one line underneath the shoulders and the knees directly under the hips and onto the floor. And we're gonna curl our toes underneath. So our hands are facing forward, shoulders are up. This is the quadruped position. So we're gonna learn bracing, which we pull the ribs up towards the belly button into the spine and you're gonna track the pelvic floor, just like you're trying to hold in urine and you're gonna maintain this position, you still should be able to breathe comfortably while bracing this position here as if somebody were gonna punch you and you have to hold that tight. So now we're gonna move right into the first exercise, which is cat and camel. So you stay in this quadruped position. You're gonna place your shoulders in alignment with your hands and your hips and knees are in alignment above each other and you're gonna take a nice deep breath and as you exhale, you're gonna round your shoulders and your back up and while you squeeze your abdominal and pull your belly in, you're gonna breathe, exhale. As we exhale, we're looking at the knees and then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna raise the head and the tailbone up so you're arching your back. So. You're pushing your chest to the ground while you're keeping your elbows straight. And during this movement, you're going to look forward. I'm looking at you right now, but you're gonna look forward and repeat the entire cycle again. So you're gonna exhale, arch the back, inhale, raise the head and the tailbone, okay? This is the first exercise. So now for the second exercise, you could do that. You take a deep breath, you hold it. You're gonna take that, uh, maybe hold each of those positions for about count of three to five seconds and you can run through that 10 times. Now the next exercise is the glute bridge. We're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna have our feet directly on. We're going to brace the core tight. We're going to make sure that the small of the back is flat against the ground. We're going to put our hands down and we're going to raise until we are in an, like an arrow, like alignment. The spine is in alignment with the lower back. You're going to hold that maybe for 10 seconds and then you're going to let it down. And we're going to do that again. Brace the core and bring it on up. Hold for 10 seconds and you do that again 10 times. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna move into the clamshell. So we're on our side. You could have a towel here so you can lay down. You could be in this position if you want here. And our feet are gonna be touching each other. Our knees are going to open up, but what you're gonna do first is brace the core. Pretend somebody's come around and is gonna hit you and you Tighten, hold, and you should be able to breathe as you're doing these. And as you're breathing, you're gonna do these. You can hold for three seconds and back down. Hold three to five seconds and then back down. Hold and then back down. So you can do these. You're gonna 10 times holding about three to five seconds. And you are going to once again do both sides. So now we're going to do the cobra. So you're going to lay here. You're going to bring your arms underneath your body here. So your shoulders are on the ground. Your feet should be contacting the floor. I can't do that right now. But you're going to bring yourself up. So it's a gentle arch in the back. You're looking forward, but there's a gentle pull in the neck here. And then you're gonna come back down. If you want, you can come back all the way down. Bring yourself back up. And you're gonna hold here. And you're gonna maintain that. You're gonna breathe through all those positions and every time you're gonna be contracting the glute muscles, you're gonna be contracting the core here 
and you're going to be breathing. So now our the last exercise we're going to be doing is we're going to turn on our back and it's going to call it be it's called the dead bob, okay? So while we're lying on our back, we're going to place our feet flat on the floor. You're going to do your abdominal bracing. So you see I'm tightening my abdomen here and I'm pushing my lower back against the floor. And I am going to take my hands straight up here while I'm bracing my core. And I'm just going to lift my foot until the knee is pointing upright and up again. But you want to contract the whole way. You want to contract the butt muscles. You are already contracting your abs. You're not supposed to let that ab contraction go as you're coming up and down. And you could either hold for a few seconds and, or just do alternates and do them 10 times each, but make everything count, make every moment count. So you're pressing with your lower back into the floor, which is gonna tighten and create a brace here, and you can contract the glutes. Now, you can stop here with the exercises, you could move on to part two of a, the lumbar stretches. If you wanna stop here, I want you for the next 15 minutes to grab a neck roll here, place it on mute your neck, Arms out, shoulders back in anatomical position. Your knees could be bent or straight or something under the knee, and I want you to relax. 15 to 20 minutes. You should be doing that every day anyway, and I'm just gonna tell everybody that because we are a forward bent society. So every day we wanna be doing some backward cervical curvature type of stuff. So anyway, that's part one. Go on to part two, and if you do part one into part two, but you do all of them, holding 15 to uh, three to three to five seconds, really, or five to 10 seconds if you wanna make it longer, and doing everything 10 times. So I'm Dr. Kim Carlucci, see you next time.